I have a feeling I'm in the space. I have a feeling I'm in space. Beautiful. Can you tell me what you're experiencing in space? I can see the stars. I can see the stars. Beautiful. And I can see the rocks f f floating. Mm -hmm. And I, I am weightless. Mm -hmm. Do you have a body in this place? Or are you just spirit? I'm a spirit. Very good. So as a spirit, you're able to go anywhere. So I'd like for you to just look around space and see what it is that you're attracted to there. Is there anything? That looks interesting to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see Gaia. You can see Gaia. It's very colorful mm -hmm. from where I look. So as you're looking at Gaia, I want you to go into your emotions and tell me what you're feeling from Gaia. I feel it is such a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. Connect with her energy. I feel her nature. And feel her nature. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Just it's very special. Mm -hmm. It's very alive. Mm -hmm. And I feel her very pure from where I look. What happens now? What do you do with all of these feelings from Guy? I want to go there. I want to go there. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of... I just see nature. Mm -hmm. And I am in this... I feel I'm in the circles. I, I, mm -hmm. I, Describe these circles that you're in. It's just... I'm moving in both directions at mm -hmm. the same time. Mm -hmm. And I am moving somewhere. But I don't... I don't see Gaia now. Mm -hmm. I just feel I'm... I'm doing lots of rounds. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to just go with it and see what these rounds are all about. I'd like for you to connect with your knowing and tell me what it is that this is. Why is it necessary to go through this? Because I'm in the tunnel. You're in the tunnel. Mm -hmm. And this tunnel is taking me very fast. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. And I am I'm very fast now. Mm -hmm. Do you see anything as you go through this tunnel? Just light. Mm -hmm. What color is this light? White. White light. Mm -hmm. And it goes up and down. Mm -hmm. Suddenly I feel like I have a body. All right. So let's see what this body looks like. Use all of your senses to experience your body. My feet are birds. Feet are birds? Mm hmm What color are these feet? They are a bit yellow and they have big nails. Big nails? Mm hmm Yeah. What's the rest of your body look like? I have a big body. A big body? What color is this body? Is blue and red and yellow, mm -hmm. but mostly blue. Okay. What does your body look like? I just feel I'm like a bird. Like a bird. Quite fat. <laughs> a fat bird? Yeah. A fat blue and red and yellow bird. With thin legs. 
Take a look at your face. What does your face look like? I have big eyes. I have big black black eyes. Mm-hmm. So now that we know that you have a bird's body, let's take a look and see where you are. I want you to focus on your surroundings. Tell me where you're standing. I'm still moving. You're still moving. But this now is not going both directions. It's I'm kind of being transported from on under me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. That's Something has shifted on the Yes, and I, I don't really know where I am being taken. I cannot really see even lights now. Mm-hmm. But I am being pushed in some place, like something is taking me somewhere. somewhere. Describe what this is. I'm, re- I'm reaching to some place and there are rocks. And feels like a moon. Mm-hmm. It has geysers and but there's no life like on Gaia mm-hmm. at all. I am stopping. I'm not stopped. Do you still have the same body on this moon? I feel I am a spirit again. Okay. Actually, I don't know, because it feels the same as I'd been a minute ago, but I don't see it. So now you're on this different place, without a body. (laughs) What is the purpose of you being on this place that is so different than the other place? There are others like me. Okay. But we are not physical. You're not physical. No, we are not physical. What do you do there? We live here. Mm-hmm. But we have some gathering, important gathering here. Mm. And some of us are sitting, preparing speeches. Mm-hmm. Others are anxious because of what they're going to hear. Mm-hmm. There is something going to happen. All right. So I want you to touch in with your feelings. What are you feeling that this is all about? What is this thing that is happening? They are deciding if they will go and on, on the mission. Mm-hmm. Are you part of that mission? I am one of them. Mm-hmm. We are all thinking about it. Mm-hmm. But we are not very clear about if it's worth it or mm-hmm. if we shouldn't do it. Who is guiding you on this mission? Who's guiding you? Hmm. I don't see anyone being more um, than anyone else. Okay. We are all very equal. Okay. Yeah. So what is the discussion about this mission? The ideas are very different. Mm -hmm. Some are thinking we should just stay and, but times have changed. And, and nothing makes sense anymore the way it used to be. Mm -hmm. So we, we uh, have to make a move. Mm -hmm. Still, there are some of them that, of us, that try to just hold on. I think we should go. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to count from one to three as you go forward in time. When I get to number three, you will be at the moment where you've made the decision. One, going forward now in time and space. Two, almost there now. And three. Be there now. Where are you? Yeah, we are are in the ships. You're in the ships. Mm -hmm. What do these ships look like? They are like balls. Mm. And they are very blue. Very blue. Mm -hmm. 
and we are all going in. You're uh, all going. Yeah, we are all going. There is no one staying. So you have. Is it a blue body? Yes. Hmm. Does it look different now? Yes, it is. We what, are, is what does this body look like? Yeah. This body is. It is still a light body. Mm -hmm. um, we are. We are all light bodies. We create planets. Ah, so you are creator beings. Yes. Okay. So, what is this mission all about? There is a planet mm -hmm. that is s destroying itself, and it's n it's not the planet, but. There are beings on the planet that mm. are very unkind. Okay. What does this planet look like? I see uh, this planet has no nature. Mm -hmm. It's all destroyed already, actually. Mm. I see. But there is uh, there there are humans living under. Mm-hmm. Under the earth, under the ground. Mm -hmm. Take a look at what you see. Does it seem very modern? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but it feels like m Mars. Feels like Mars. It f it looks quite reddish. Mm -hmm. It has no no plants. I don't know why we are here. So I'd like for you to connect with your own intelligence and ask yourself is this mars yes okay this is mars mm -hmm. but we are not going to stay here All we right. just came here to do something okay maybe do i uh, we are taking some people out of here mm -hmm. with us i don't know how we will take them well, let me check Let's find out. Yeah. See yourself doing that now. There is some. Um, there are other beings working together. Mm -hmm. We are there, but there are many others. And some of them have physical form. We have physical form when we want to. Mm -hmm. But we try not to. It's not really our. Mm -hmm. And there, there are those beings that take those humans from under the ground mm -hmm. to a safer place. Okay. Why do they have those humans there in the first place? Someone brought them there. Hmm. All right. And that used them. And they used them. They used them. Those those people are. They need to support and clean themselves from trauma. Mm -hmm. Tell and me more. We see them, and we feel that we can help them. Good. Can you connect with these humans telepathically? Yes. All right. So let's. I'd like for you to just scan this place and connect with one of these humans, and let's find out the story of why they're there. What's happening? There's few that want to talk to me, but I can talk to one woman. Okay. Connect with her. Mm -hmm. She tells me she has been uh, kidnapped hmm. to work and she's worried about her family. Where was she kidnapped from? From the earth. Hmm. Tell me more about that. She's worried because they don't know about her, mm -hmm. what's going on with her. But there's something. St they don't get older, they keep the same age uh -huh. as they were taken. 
How old is she? How old does she look? She's around 30. 30. Mm -hmm. Maybe less. Mm -hmm. But she's very wasted. Yeah. yeah. She's. What does she do there on that planet? They've been working physically mm -hmm. very hard, creating creating some basis mm -hmm. and more underground places mm -hmm. because they have some fabrics there they they manufacture something there how is this woman dressed what does she look like She has a grey clothing, very poor clothing mm -hmm. and dirty, but she's fully um, covered. Mm -hmm. Her hair is not brushed at all, mm -hmm. and, but she's happy to see us. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's find out what happens next. I'd like for you now to go to the next important sequence of events that will give you the story of why you're there. Allow yourself to be there now. I see that we are taking uh, those humans mm -hmm. away and we take them in the ships, but we have to clean them mm -hmm. and we also will have to work on their memory mm. because this is traumatic memory is not good for them yes so how is it that you work with their memory what do you use we have a, we have this special light machine it's a white light mm -hmm. and it cleans all the cells it cleans the bodies very good. And good. it disinfects everything. Good. Any other information? They are also given a certain amount of thoughts they are going to remember to create the following events for, for their lives. For All right. Lives. Very good. All right, so let's close this scene now, completely close this scene, and now let's go to the next important scene of that lifetime, something that has significance. Be there now. I'm in the ship, mm -hmm. and I feel we are, we are surrounding the, the planet, mm. the Earth, Earth. This is Earth. This is Earth now. It's yes. a different place. Yes. What is the reason why you're surrounding Earth? There's something going on on the Moon. Hmm. And we are in... Uh, we are talking with different beings. Mm -hmm. And we are in the Moon, we are on the Moon, we are on the Earth, we are around the Earth, we observe everything. Mm -hmm. How many ships do you have? Many. We are many. Mm -hmm. Are these ships large or small? They are bubbles. Bubbles? Yes, they are round. How big are these ships? To the human eyes. Well, we fit around 10 All inside. Right. Mm -hmm. In a bubble? In a bubble. Okay. It's a big bubble. So what do you do in this bubble? Is it just for traveling? No. What's inside of this bubble? We take care of the energy mm -hmm. around the planet. Okay. But we have to filter a lot because there is a lot of not positive energy mm -hmm. trying to influence. Mm -hmm. So how do you filter this? Do you, or does the ship? It is our frequency. It's your frequency. That uh, lifts the frequency. Mm -hmm. So as you emit this frequency from yourself, what is it doing to the Earth? 
it lifts the awareness mm. and it works on on the consciousness, on the collective consciousness. Mm -hmm. So you're actually shifting the consciousness of the people on the earth? We are helping them with that. Okay, yes. good, good. So let's advance a little bit more. I'd like for you to close this scene and let's see what happens next. What happens? I'm on the moon mm -hmm. again. I'm, you're on the moon? I'm on the moon. I don't like it here. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose for being on the moon today? I'm in some military uh, place mm -hmm. and I am being trapped. Hmm. Who's trapping you? I cannot see them. I am locked. Mm -hmm. I'm in the dark, locked place, mm -hmm. and I just can feel metal buttons, um, cold environment, mm -hmm. unfriendly, very unfriendly. Mm -hmm. And I will be investigated. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to fast forward that, that scene. Allow that scene to go very quickly until someone appears. Oh, that is a surprise. I see a beautiful white being mm -hmm. with a long beard and it's, it looks like a wise creature. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, coming for me. It looks like it's trying to calm me down. All right, I'd like for you to look into the eyes of this white being Look directly into the eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. And you will know through those eyes what type of being this is. This is a very high frequency being. Mm -hmm. I don't, I never met them before. Mm -hmm. Is it a different race? It is, it is not from the solar system. Okay. So what is the purpose for this beautiful white being? to connect with you. He's trying to explain to me that I have a short vision about the situation. Mm -hmm. What is the long vision that this being is trying to give you? It tells me that, uh, that sometimes what we see as wrong is not wrong. Hmm. It's just in the sequence so something better can happen mm -hmm. and that I can, I have to widen my vision. Mm -hmm. But I feel very uncomfortable because I feel I, I am, I'm imprisoned. Yes. What is it about you that is so important that they've had to imprison you? I really want to help Earth. Mm -hmm. I have... All my heart is there. I see this beautiful planet. And I see so much going on in there and I don't understand why there's so much political movement. Mm -hmm. It's just... There's so much nature. Why? I, they find me. Uh, they find me dangerous. Mm -hmm. Dangerous they, because you want to help Earth. Yes. And they do not. And I don't want to obey. Mm -hmm. Do you report to these beings, or are you just captured by them? Someone told them about me. Okay. I don't know what. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to now close the scene and go either backwards or forwards to find out what it is that you were doing that allowed them to capture you. Be there now. I am on the earth. Mm -hmm. And I am talking to people. And I, I am motivating and 
and widening their vision. Mm -hmm. But I am not doing it the way I was instructed to. Mm -hmm. Who instructed you? My people got information from different beings that I have. Different beings. I don't know whom. Are these different beings ones that do not want Earth to progress? They have the vision about it, mm -hmm. and they think they are doing right. Okay. But I see people suffering, and very confused, and I see nature being destroyed. And I have so much feeling for this nature. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to defend this nature? Yes. Okay, good. When you're on the Earth, do you have a body there? Yes. What does that look like? I can see only that I have um, s some natural cotton clothing mm -hmm. and I don't look very much alike, mm -hmm. not very common. What do you look like? Short hair, mm -hmm. very short hair. and. Uh, I'm very tall. What color is your skin there? Very bright, very, f very fair. Mm-hmm. Very fair. Very fair. Are you male or female in that body? Male. Male. Okay. So now, now let's fast forward to see when it was that they captured you. What was happening that they captured you? I was somewhere in the northern part of Earth, mm -hmm. and I've been talking to people in a very difficult environment. Mm -hmm. And I was captured somewhere there and just transferred to the moon. All right. So now we're going to find out what has happened after you were transferred to the moon. Allow yourself now to open up that scene and see where it is that you first arrive on the moon. I can see the ship mm -hmm. entering and I can see I'm going a few platforms below mm -hmm. the surface. Keep going. I'm entering to some wide room, very unfriendly light, but I think they are cleaning me from the energy. Mm -hmm. They keep me naked mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. It's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Look at yourself. What do you look like? I I am not having physical form now. Okay. Did you remove? Did you get out of that form? Yes, they actually removed me from the form I got from the earth. Okay. They brought me to my original form. Mm -hmm. The spirit form. Mm -hmm. How do you but like still, this? They captured me. They captured you. So they captured your essence. All right. So now we're going to move forward and see what happens to this essence of yours. I'd like for you now to move forward to when another significant event happens that affects your life. Be there now. They take me very, very far. Mm -hmm. And I feel very disconnected. Where do they take you to? I don't know this place. This is very far. This is much farther than anything I know. Mm -hmm. I feel very foreigner here. What does this place look like? Is it a solid place? It is a place where they hold people that don't be, that don't, don't uh, obey. Mm -hmm. It's gray, it's a big structure, very gray inside, it's not friendly. Mm -hmm. And we are there. So I'd like for you to see from an outside point of view how is it that they're holding your energy? How are they capturing you? They create an electromagnetic mm. pole around us. Mm -hmm. and, and they also suck our energy and our force 
inner force, mm -hmm. inner strength. Very so we feel very weak. Okay. Now look around you and tell me how many others are there with you? Plenty. We are many, many. We are... We might be our more. We are thousands. Mm. We are many here. You're many. Very good. We don't even stand. We are just sitting. No energy at all. No energy. No. How do you nourish yourself? On Earth, you would need food. Do you nourish yourself at all to replenish that energy? We could just about just enough of um, subtle frequ frequency mm -hmm. that we just nourishes us. All right. How are you given those that frequency? It's in the in the air. All right. Mm -hmm. So you just pick it up. Yes, that's e it. Even if it, you're on a different planet. Yeah, it's just created the electromagnetic pole is just created the way that we can sustain. Mm -hmm. We are alive, but we are nothing here. Okay. And look around you. These other souls, are they from the same place as you? Or are they different? No, we are different. We You're are many different. different ones. But you all have high energy? In here we have no energy. Okay, but you used to be beings of high energy before? Oh, yes. Okay, good. So you have that in common with all of them? Yes. Okay. So I'd like for you now to move forward. Just close the scene and move forward to the resolution of this life. And tell me what happens. Where are you? Go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. I'm back in space. Mm -hmm. Did you leave that light body? I did. Okay, good. So as you look back at that lifetime, every lifetime has a purpose and lessons. What did you learn about that lifetime? Sometimes we shouldn't talk mm -hmm. very loud. Sometimes we have to find different ways to make work done. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to wait for the right moment. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you like to give Dominica today? To be peaceful mm -hmm. and to work on herself. All right. Very good. Very good. So now let's close this scene and let's find out what happened before Dominica's spirit came into this body. I'd like for you to go through drifting through time and space and hook up with that place mm -hmm. and tell me where you are. I'm with one very wise being mm -hmm. next to me, talking to me. Mm -hmm. Who is this wise being? Ask. Mm. I'm always with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always guide you and I bring you to the places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says, I, I'm P. P is my guide. Your peace. It's P. Oh, your P. P. P is my guide. P is your guide. Okay. It's always with me. Mm -hmm. So why? I thought it was slim, but it's very fat. Ah. <laughs> so what does P look like? It's strong, mm -hmm. tall, and fat. <laughs> and fat. <laughs> so let's find out a little bit from P, since it's your guide. Mm -hmm. Why did you need to experience that lifetime? where you were captured and had to deal with those people on he, that planet. Mm -hmm. He tells me it has, that I keep repeating the same thing. I did this in, at that time, I did the same thing in mm -hmm. Auschwitz, motivating. And I get, I got burned. You got burned? Why is that? Because I had a good intention and I was shut down. Oh. So how is that affecting the lifetime now of Dominica? She's not putting feet outside. Mm. Did she choose to put her feet out this time? In this lifetime? Her spirit wants that. Mm -hmm. 
So why is she blocking it? Is she remembering? She was punished mm -hmm. many times. And she got, she, she locked us in. And she always stays with it. So mm -hmm. she comes back with the same sensation. Mm -hmm. What is the sensation she comes back with? That she's going to be punished. Mm. So is that why she plays it so small? Yes, she always been punished. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that she needs to be punished in this lifetime? No. No. Is she creating that punishment over and over again? Absolutely. Okay. So what is it that she's doing in this lifetime that she's punishing herself? Mm. She stands between doors. She stands between doors. Mm -hmm. She looks at beautiful views, but she's not putting the feet forward, mm -hmm. and she makes herself suffer. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't want to look back because it is suffering. Mm -hmm. So there's no need to be looking back because her eyes are in front of her head, not behind her. Yes. So. If we know that she, her mission was to help Earth before, what is her mission now to come back to Gaia? She has a work related with feminine. With what? Feminine part. The feminine parts? What does she need to do with the feminine part? It is to awaken. Mm -hmm and bring back to life that feminine side of Gaia mm -hmm. into the people. How is she doing on that? She has children. And she... she brings... she, call, she calls upon children mm -hmm. and women. She, men are scared. Mm -hmm. So when she calls upon them, is this there during the workshops and retreats that we're talking about? No. It's or energetically? It's day to day, mm -hmm. word to word. Yes. In the shop, mm -hmm. in the street. Okay. So when she's doing this, she's bringing people together. Yes. She wakes them there. She wakes them up. Yeah, they're high qualities. Mm -hmm. So is there any way that she could improve on waking them up? She has to get calm. Mm, so she's not calm herself? No, she's ambitious as always. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look and see where it is that this lack of calm is in her body. Where is she showing it? Mm. The fragma, the head. The head. Anywhere else? Yeah, the head, the diaphragma, and uterus. And the uterus, okay. Is that what's causing those issues in the uterus? Yes. Okay. So I'd like for you to, to do this scan and tell me what that energy looks like first in the head. What does that look like? It's a dark cloud. Dark cloud, all right. So let's find out a little bit about this dark cloud. Did she create this cl cloud, or did it just come to her? She came with this. She came with this, okay. Let's identify this dark cloud. I'd like for you to take her back in time mm -hmm. to see where she brought that cloud from. Someone put it Someone put her, it. so she doesn't see beyond that. Okay, so let's find out who it was. That was on the moon. It was on the moon. So someone actually almost like tagged her with that dark energy? Absolutely. Okay. Well, we know that when you come to Earth, you have free will. And if she did not have free will when that thing was put on her, she has free will now to release it. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So I'd like for you to go ahead and find the origin of where this matter, this dark energy, comes from on the moon. Just keep following it. And tell me what it looks like. This is like a... It looks like some kind of a machine. A machine? That was put in there so she doesn't get access to mm. the higher. So that's being blocked from her connecting with her higher self? Yes. Okay. This is the this is what was done. Okay. So we know that in this case she has free will, she has a new body. So what would you like to recommend for her to remove that? Sea water. Sea water, all right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and look beyond and see the water. I see it. All right. Is this the reason why she has been brought to where she lives now? One of the reasons. One of the reasons, all right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and just guide her into what she needs to do with this water. What does she need to do? She needs to keep her face and all the head under the water mm -hmm. and listen to the cracks because mm -hmm. it is cracking off that thing. All right. So I'd like for you now to see that window open. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and allow these little birds to cry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very... It's very tight. Mm -hmm. It's done the way that you... Oh. Go ahead. Begin to release it. I want you to go ahead and begin to focus on that space in your heart and begin to spin that light within your heart and begin to make it bigger and bigger. And as that light spins, see how expansive you can get. Getting larger and larger. What is that light doing? It's release. Mm -hmm. Harmonize. Harmonize it. Very good. Is that darkness completely gone? Almost there. All right, keep going. She has a hole on top of the head. Mm -hmm. What's it doing, this hole? There's some antenna. Mm -hmm. What can she do with that antenna? It was put in there because she's bringing the information. Mm -hmm. Does she need to bring information? She brings information to her original form mm -hmm. and then she connects to her her family all right so they take this information and they make decisions mm -hmm. based on this experience okay. connect with this individual send them your beautiful white light mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening next. It is opening. It's opening, very good. Keep widening it up. Mm, it's actually getting wider and wider. Mm -hmm. And how is that affecting the body? It makes her aura 
grow. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure that her aura has no tears in it while she's growing it. Mm -hmm. If it does, I'd like for you to use that light to go ahead and patch up and heal that aura. It is like she, she, the aura is inside because there is a, she's like in, she, she's the channel. She's the channel? She, she, or she's in the channel. Mm -hmm. I see a channel around her. Mm -hmm. Is this the channel that's being used to transmit? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's like a channel to what she's here for. All right. So tell me when you've completed what you've done with this energy. Yes. Very good. So now let's take a look at the head and see how that's doing now. It's open. It's open. Very good. Does this include the third eye being open? Absolutely. All right. So now let's move down to the next area where she had a blockage. Where was that? The diaphragma. All right. There's some... something. Um, that is not hers. That's not hers. So let's identify whose it is. Did she pick it up along the way? Yes. All right. Let's find out who she picked it up from. That's an entity. An entity. Yes. All right. Is this an entity that she knows? No, but she feels very familiar with this. All right. Entity. So let's find out what this entity is. I'm going to go ahead and move my hand over her body and as I do that energy will bring that entity up and we can speak with that entity and assist it today feel it coming up all the way up the body all the way up the body and you can now speak good evening hello are you male or female I'm male. male what is your name please what may I call you Bob Bob how old are you Bob 45. Mm. And what year is it, Bob? 1875. 1875. Bob, how did you lose your last body? There was a rebellion. Mm -hmm. Where and was I it? I was in the hat of it. You were in the rebellion? Yes, I was the leader. The leader of the rebellion? I was. What country was this, Bob? That was United States. United States. And how is it that you found Dominica? We have a lot in common. We do. What kind of things do you have in common? We fight for uh, mm -hmm. truth, uh -huh. for our people. How and we know what is good for them. Because mm -hmm. you're a leader. Yeah. Yes. And tell me, Bob, how long have you known Dominica? When did you find her? I keep on looking at her mm -hmm. often. Uh-huh. But I am with her for a few years now. Okay. And what caused her to attract you finally to her completely? She needed me. She needed you. For what reason? Because she was trapped. Okay. In her marriage, she In was her... trapped. So what did you do? I gave her strength. Mm. Because she has the same strengths. Okay, very good. So now, Bob, why is it that you're still with her? Being because she, she needs me. She does. What do you do for her? I keep her strong. You keep her strong. Okay. Well, let's find out what Dominica feels about you. Take a deep breath in now. Dominica, take a look at Bob. Look mm. at his eyes. Can you see him? Yes. What does he look like to you? Blue eyes, mm -hmm. man, blonde. Mm -hmm. Now he says that he's helping you. I want you to use your inner knowing and tell me, do you need this man, this entity attached to you? No, he's heavy. He's heavy. What does he feel like to you besides heavy? 
I feel I feel he he has opinion about me mm-hmm. and he brings something that's not necessarily needed mm-hmm. so being that he says that you need him it's your free will to tell him that you don't so go ahead and speak with Bob and tell him what you think Bob, I don't need you mm-hmm. I don't need you okay Take a deep breath in. Bob, now that you see that she has free will and she no longer needs you, how does that make you feel, Bob? I don't believe she doesn't need me. Ah, so you think she does need you? She needs me. Mm -hmm. I think, Bob, that what you need is to be in power. Oh, yes. Yes. Did you know, Bob, that you have that power within you? that you don't need to have power over anybody else? But we are supposed to be more than one. Oh. Well, let's find out if that's true. Because I think that you have enough in you to be anything you want. Bob, when you died, you were supposed to go straight home. Why didn't you go home? Because they need me. They Mm -hmm. need me. They need you. They need me. Yeah. I think that that was your ego telling you that they need you. I died for them. Ah. So you want someone to need you all the time. Do you know that there's others that can use your leadership and your light? I don't know. You don't know. I think that you forgot, Bob, why you really came here. You need to be loved, don't you? You need to be needed. Bob, look inside of that heart. Look at that love that you have inside of you. It's a light there. Find that light. Expand that light. And tell me how that light feels to you. Very light. Mm -hmm. Make it even brighter then. You're so powerful, Bob. Make that light very bright. Expand that light out. Feel it. Feel how big you can make that light. Feel the power of just expanding your own light. And tell me how that feels. Make it even bigger now, Bob. Make it so powerful that everyone can see you. How does that feel? Yeah, very good. Very good. You see, Bob, what you needed was that light within you to expand, to feel good. You didn't need anybody else to need you. You needed that love, and you know where that love comes from? Directly from your Creator, the source of that love. Would you like to feel more of that? Mm -hmm. It's very peaceful. It is very peaceful. Do you want to see what's on the other side of that light? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to bring my angels to come and accompany you. I'm going to bring over someone who's very powerful too. And you know, powerful people kind of hang out together, don't they? Yeah. Yes. I have Archangel Michael here. And he's going to guide you right to that light. Tell me when you see him. Oh, he's much bigger to me. Mm. But how does he make you feel? Very safe. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now, Bob, to detach completely from her body. Pull out all of your energy from her body. And can you forgive yourself, Bob, for not knowing this? Yes. 
You spent all this time not knowing how powerful you truly were, how loved you really were. Would you like to give me all of that pain? I'm going to take that from you, Bob. Give it all to me. Give it to me. Pull it all out. Forgive yourself for not knowing that when that body died, you should have gone straight home. Give it to me. And tell me when I have all of that, Bob. You have it. Let's take it and send it to the universe for healing. Bob, what would you like to put in your heart before you go? Peace. Let's put lots of peace. Feel that peace flowing through your essence. Feel it. And now that you have peace in your heart, are you ready now to go home? Yes. Yes, very good. So Archangel Michael, please take Bob and take him straight home. And Bob, you tell me when you get there. Tell me who's there waiting for you. My daughter. Ah, what does she say to you? Daddy. Mm. She's very happy. Very, very good. Very good. Bob, may the light and the love of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. And now let's take a look at this body and see if there's any other influence on her body that's been holding her back. The uterus. The uterus. Very good. Tell me what's in the uterus. What's dense there? Dense energy. Very dense. All right, let's take a look at this dense energy and let's find out what this dense energy is made out of. Is it something that's attached to her or did she create this energy? It's hers. It's hers. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what created this energy. I'd like for you to intensify this energy. Make it bigger and brighter so that we can see what color what shape, what it's made out of. Describe to me what this energy is like. It is like um, heavy metals. Heavy metals. Mm -hmm. It's um, brownish and dark, mm -hmm. almost black. Mm -hmm. And it's where she leaves all her leftovers on the emotional, difficult um, situations. Mm. So this is like a junkyard. Absolutely. All those metals. Yes. Ah, I see. And what is this junkyard in her uterus doing to her? She just thinks her uterus is so big and so great that mm -hmm. she can put anything in there. Ah. So what is this? all of this dark, dense energy doing to the little baby in there? She's enough smart to separate the two ah, of them. Okay. They are very separated. They're very separated, all right. But wouldn't it be nice so that the baby can grow without this junkyard around? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So we can't get rid of this because she created it just like the baby. But we can transform it. Yes. What would you like to transform all of this leftover emotions, heavy metals, everything that's in there. What would we like to transform it into? And lightness. Lightness. And oh. clarity. And clarity. Very good. Because we don't want to take emotions and just throw them down there. No. No. So what color of energy would transform this dark, metallic, yucky, sharp emotions? Two colors. Mm -hmm. One is light blue, blue, light blue, and the other one is bright, bright um, pink. Bright pink, very nice. So what I'd like for you to do is just allow this beautiful color, light blue and bright pink, to come in through the top of your head. Allow it to come in through the crown and make its way down like a laser into that uterus directly into that junkyard. 
And I'd like for you to begin to transform all of this stuff into that lightness. Almost as if it were like a little wispy cloud. And you can then allow that cloud to just float away. And tell me when you're done. I'm done. You're done. So now that we have all of that out of your uterus, let's see how baby feels about that now with that extra space. Oh, she's, she's very well. She's very well. She's resting. She's resting now. Mm. Imagine every time she turned around having those pinchy things having the bump into. Hmm. So I'd like for you to send your love to baby. And what does she tell you? She just shows me her hand. Mm -hmm. Like she would like to touch mine. All right, so go ahead and reach down and touch your baby's hand. She's very relaxed. Mm -hmm. So while she's relaxed, let's ask her, why is she coming here into your life at this time? She will clarify. She will clarify. Everything. Mm -hmm. She will be her speech. She will be a mom's speech. She will be teaching her how to talk. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. That is for mom. She's just for mom. But no, she's to unite. Okay. Many people. Okay. So she comes with that mission? Yes. To unite people? Yes, mm -hmm. and to bring peace. Good. She's on the mission of peace. Okay. And uh, does she like the name that was chosen for her? She chose it. She chose it. Very good. Very good. Is that going to make her powerful? It will make her remember mm -hmm. who she is, where she's from. Good. Now, has she known? Her mama before? Have they worked together? In spirit? Before. One time. One time. But they got very along. They very did. Very well along. Very good. Yes. Very good. Is there anything else that she needs to know before she's born? People have to learn. People like mom, dad, and brothers and sisters have to learn how to listen to her because mm -hmm. she will slow the rhythm of everything okay she'll slow everything down yes she will bring more peace okay very good very good thank you very much yes thank you mm -hmm. so now now that we have all of that let's take a look at the body and see if there's anything else that we need to take care of today Look at the body. There's a fear. Mm -hmm. Where is this fear? And it's also down somewhere n near the buttocks. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. All yeah. right. So let's identify this fear. Is this her fear or somebody else's? It's easy to re recognize that it has to do with letting go. Mm -hmm. But it's also a place where other beings are touched mm -hmm. and nourish. All right. So are there any other beings attached to this fear? At the moment, not. No. So let's see if there's anything else from the body that we need to take care of today. No. No, very good. So she felt that she needed to serve humanity 
the human evolution and consciousness, how can she best do that? Just be herself mm -hmm. and calm and wait for the right moment mm -hmm. and be spontaneous and open. And she told little Dominica that she can create her own reality. Yes. How can adult Dominica create a better tomorrow? Visualize it. Mm -hmm. Feel it as yours. Trust. Mm -hmm. Trust. And just look inside for comfort. Mm -hmm. Now there's many times where she doesn't have comfort when people question her about her studies, mm -hmm. her yeah. titles. Yeah, she feels very, like, very out of place. She's not living in this kind of reality at all. Mm -hmm. So she says she knows she needs to create her own reality, but she's still attracting people who are questioning her. Why is she attracting these people to her? Yeah, she doesn't trust. Mm -hmm. It's like she has to prove herself something, but she knows she, it's not the way. So she gets tired. It's like in a fight. Mm -hmm. Does she need that any longer? No, she needs nature. Mm -hmm. Nature calms her down and gives her lots of comfort. But right now she's in a place where she's not near nature. She's not near trees. But she knows where to find it. Okay. So can I ask for a guide on her behalf to help her bring nature to her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, she feels that she needs to uh, take care of her family, but she also needs to continue on her spiritual quest of serving humanity. Hmm. How can she do both? That's a challenge. Mm -hmm. And with baby on the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the baby's the teacher. Mm -hmm. And she just has to be very alert. So she just aligns with the moment. Okay. So the, the baby's going to teach her how to do that? The baby will find the right rhythm and mm -hmm. timing. She just has to adapt. Okay. And how can she find more joy in her life? Does she have to just create it? She is joyful. She is joyful. So how can she attract those people who are joyful like her? Yeah, take the doubt out. Okay. That's the only thing that blocks her. So the doubt is her, is her doubt, it is the blockage. Uh, it's, that's it, mm -hmm. her own thing. Okay. Is that why she's not attracting money? Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's exactly this. It's like she's looking for the bridge and she's cutting it halfway. All right. So let's visualize that bridge and tell me what's on each side of that bridge. One side is quite miserable. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's falling apart, mm -hmm. but you can walk on it. Yes. And on the other side, there's a beautiful countryside house, mm -hmm. and there's peace, mm -hmm. and there's community. Yes, there's community. So why is she always cutting that bridge? Why? It's like she doesn't believe she can actually do it. Mm -hmm. Is that coming from her or coming from something else? There was a part that was in what we found in the 
her head. Mm -hmm. But there is something else there. Mm -hmm. What else is there? Her father. Her father. Her father always cut her dreams off. So she keeps his voice very clearly. Mm -hmm. So she's not making the steps fully. Mm -hmm. How old was she when he was telling her this? That was from always, when she started talking. Okay. Very good. Done. Done. So now, let's replace that recording in her mind with something that she will say herself. Be the true you are. There's so many things mm -hmm. she would like to hear. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and say one, one that really pops out. Mm. Stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. Mm -hmm. So when she goes to make up her mind, when she hears people talking about her, what is the first thing she's going to say? Be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Does she need to have anybody's opinions of her? Not at all. No. So when she is asked that she needs to help somebody and she knows she's worth something else, what is she going to be doing? She will be true to herself. That's right. That's right. So now that we've healed her, what's the effect, most effective way to help people heal? Show them the light. Mm -hmm. She has lots of light, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. She is a light bubble. Mm -hmm. Good. She comes from that family. Yes. And why is it that when she works so much, she forgets about everything else? She feels lost. Mm. When she works, mm -hmm. she's just the channel. She's the channel. Mm -hmm. But when she's not working, it's like she's not connecting to mm -hmm. her origin. Yes. So she's not communicating with that part. Okay, so what can she do when she feels that she needs to do something and she can't connect? She's doing it, but she needs to do it more. Okay, so what would you suggest she do? Talks to the trees. Talk to the trees, Talk so she needs to spend more time in nature. Absolutely. Okay, once she is in nature, connecting with the earth, connecting with the trees, will she have more clarity? Always. Okay, so is this the way that she can open up that heart? Yes. All right. Good. It aligns her mm -hmm. in a matter of seconds. Good. So talking about nature, what's the best place for her to live? It doesn't matter. It doesn't place. matter. Just be with nature. Absolutely. Okay, good. Now she had a situation in which someone told her she was related to ancient Atlantis in Egypt and had a relationship with Toth. Mm -hmm. What is the story there? She was mm -hmm. on the Atlantis. Okay. She has memories from that place. Mm -hmm. And she was in the temple, that beautiful temple. Mm -hmm. and she was given some information about moving balls and physical powers. What was that all about? Metaphors. Metaphors, okay. Is there anything she needs to know about that lifetime that would help her? She was very connected at that time, mm -hmm. and she was very present and near it. Okay. She can connect to this if she wants to. Mm -hmm. Would it help her in any way? Yeah, it will align her. Okay, good. What is the best way for her to connect with that energy? Just connect with the heart. Okay. So everything to the heart. Absolutely, the mm -hmm. heart is the door. Mm -hmm. So now that we understand that, 
How does she heal her body in the future if something goes out of whack? It will be the strength from the heart. Mm -hmm. It is to find a clear energy mm -hmm. in the heart, not mixing with the emotions. Okay. Will the heart also help her with abundance? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So how do we clean the energy of the heart in order to allow that abundance to flow easier? Keeping the heart open. Mm -hmm. Very open. It is essential for her to keep the heart open and actually for any human. Mm -hmm. Because this is the most intelligent spot. Mm -hmm. And it knows. How is her heart doing today? Mm. It's very happy. Very good. Very mm. good. Can you tell her anything about her children? She's doing very well with her children. Mm -hmm. okay. She's teaching them. She is. She is. Okay, good. And she tells me that she experienced a spinning energy. What is that spinning energy? This is connection to thought. Mm -hmm. And it's also lifting the vibration and also bringing the vibration down. Mm -hmm. So it's the exchange of vibration. Good. Would it be beneficial to experience that today? Yes. All right. So let's begin with the spinning. And I'd like for you to take her to spin all the way back into that golden cocoon, bringing her back to Mother Earth. And tell me when she's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Completely alert, feeling wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Welcome oh, back. How'd thank you. you. <laughs> How'd you like that? Oh, amazing. Amazing. Absolutely not expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember half, not more than that. How long do you think this was? How long did it feel? An hour and a half. Mm, yeah, it been an hour and a half. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Beautiful. Little I feel burning inside, like all, all the, the cells are happy. <laughs> so it was quite different than oh. last time, huh? Oh yeah, gosh. Unbelievable. Very different. Oh, oh, it's good. Beautiful. It's so nice to meet their higher self. Such a wise being. Pretty, pretty easy, huh? Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What, what, a, what a trip. Do you remember oh. the... the the moon and all that, do you remember? Yeah, some, yes, this I remembered. Mm. I was not expecting it mm. at all. Think. Yeah. And repeating itself somehow, yeah. Mm -hmm. You felt that it's it's happening again or? Yeah, it was happening it was, before. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know about the time you, phrases, you, but. You, you broke the. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Ooh. Beautiful, really. Is this something you want to share or you want to keep to yourself? What do you think? No, I'm, I'm very open if it ha can help. Mm -hmm. Anyone else, I'm more than happy to share it. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so this was an amazing session. Oh, it was an amazing wow. session. Yeah. Completely different than uh, I could ever think of mm -hmm. before, really. Yeah. Uh, Life-changing. Yeah, Absolutely. and um, you've had a hypnosis session before. But I had nothing to do with this. Yes, yes. so what was the difference? I was here walking, doing, seeing. I've been in many different <laughs> timelines. <laughs> yeah, it was different. Oh, God. Even the entity was, releasement was different. Absolutely. It mm -hmm. was just, it was very, it is changing your perception about reality. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, you do hypnosis too, right? Yes. yes. I also do hypnosis. Yes. 
So she's amazing. She's my inspiration, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So was it different than what you have been trained to do? Um, yes, it was different. Yeah. Though um, I love to see your work and. Uh, you are really an inspiration yeah. to me so yeah. this is more my this my way, way into yeah. Look, yeah, yeah. looking into well the yeah. reason i ask all of this is because a lot of people will see um will, will go to a hypnotist right the first time and they'll say oh well that was not good at all or maybe i couldn't be hypnotized or right. things like that and just because you've had a bad experience doesn't mean that you cannot be hypnotized. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah. Today, it was a totally different experience. So every time you're hypnotized, it's different. So if you exactly. ever have a hypnosis session and it kind of goes not too good, don't worry about it. Don't give just up. Just don't give up. Do it yeah. again. Okay? Yeah. Because every time Absolutely. you do it, you get better and better. <laughs> so I just wanted to bring that up because you had, Very good. You yeah. had also experienced Absolutely. something that eh, wasn't that... No, it was absolutely nothing to do with uh, this kind of session. Right, and, right. And um, there's different qualities and different times. Yeah, and so... Different work. So, and this is high work. So how do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel? Well, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm having... All my body is just... You know, the cells are very happy. How's, how's, ba how's baby feeling? Oh, also. It's like, oh, <laughs> there's... Change. Dominique is pregnant. That's I'm why pregnant. we say. That's why we say <laughs> yes. that. And how far along are you? Well, actually, I'm just the halfway. Halfway point. So, so yeah, so that's quite a bit, anyway. Yes, exactly. The worst time is behind me. <laughs> exactly. So, is this something that you would recommend to other people? Absolutely, I recommend this to anyone and yeah. everyone, to the most rational people and less rational, <laughs> because you just will surprise yourself. Yeah, it's 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 amazing, and you know I travel all around the world, and um, what I love about this work is that I am dealing with souls. I'm not dealing with uh, nationalities yeah. or anything. When I do this work. I'm dealing with a person's soul, mm. and the soul is, diff is is not different. It's the same all over the place. So yeah. I never really remember where I am, I am when I'm doing a session. And right now we are in the most amazing, amazing place. place. <laughs> we are in Barcelona, <laughs> Spain, and we are actually in a historic um, home that was built in 1902. It's called La Casa Ramos. R A M O S. You it's can look amazing. it up. It's amazing. It's it's yes. beautiful. So this was a really good um, experience for me to be in this place and do a session here. Um, the reason I'm here is because we are having a gathering here tomorrow. So if you would like a session with me, go to my website albawyman.com, sign up for my newsletter, and you will get informed where I'm going to be next all around the world and where I'm going to be having my gathering. So. Go to the event page and see if I'm going to be somewhere near you so that you can come see me and participate in some activities and group regressions. So I hope you enjoyed this session. It was really, really I amazing. Did enjoy. She did, Thank she you did, she did so amazing much. Job. <laughs> oh, and I hope I, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Give me you. that hug. Give me that oh. hug. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you.